the stage PD is a real orphan disease stage, so these patients that are on a ER four and five, it means that they walk with aid or they have a quite postural instability and they do not walk at all, and they have cognitive impairment mostly in 70% of the case, so they are patients that do not are usually included in Parkinson's disease trials because they are too advanced. And uh, as I have highlighted in my presentation, there are several, a few pharmacological trials ongoing and a few non-pharmacological trials that are trying to include PD patient up to an AR4, but not five, that are quite important in terms of uh, treatment of falls and um, gait disturbances. And the personalized care of Park on late stage Parkinson disease is quite important. It's based main mainly on them. PD nurse that can help in the coordination of care for those patients to establish a sort of list of priority of cares and then she could coordinate all the multidisciplinary cares, I mean the neurologist, the MD, the, the neuropsychologist needed, the dietitian and, the, and all the, the person that could be the speech therapist and physiotherapist for sure sure and so um, because those kind of patients they are not used to come at the hospital, they usually live at home, a little bit isolated or in institutionalization, so we, we need to move to see them and uh, this could be only made in agreement with the PD nurse or some uh, community-based uh, healthcare professional uh, that can, stabilize, can establish the priority for them. Yeah, PD Pal is a um, it is not me, the promoter of the PDPAL, it is Professor Antolini, the PI, the principal investigator from the University of Padova. And the um, idea is to, is to focus, to, take, to focus above all on Parkinson's disease, not only late stage of Parkinson's disease with complex needs and used in the PD nurse uh, as a, a care coordinator and uh, they, are, they, have, they have almost uh, terminated the trial but the, the data are not still um, available and so and they also including a device uh, wearable monitorization to monitorize the patient and um, uh, try to target better the personalization of care on their need based on clinical but also on wearable sensors so it's quite interesting but we still not have data. <laughs> yeah, sure.